Hi everyone, it's Moira with the Mississauga Library and today I'm here with a do-it-yourself slime recipe for you. But before we get into the recipe, I thought we could talk a little bit about some of the science behind slime. So what is slime? Slime is a non-Newtonian fluid, which means that it flows like liquid, but sometimes it behaves like a solid. Slime doesn't have a consistent viscosity. So what that means is that when you pour slime or you let it ooze through your fingers, it has a low viscosity and it behaves more like a thick liquid, maybe something like maple syrup. Um, and when you squeeze slime or you pound it with your fist, it feels hard. This is because when you apply stress, it causes the particles in the slime to squeeze together and it makes it harder for those particles to slide against each other. Like syrup and other liquids, uh, the viscosity of slime is affected by temperature. So it's a little bit cold in the library today, so my slime is not as stretchy as it could be and that means it breaks more easily. Uh, that's why warm slime is much more stretchy than cold slime. Slime is also a polymer, which is a substance made up of a long chain of repeating molecules. These chains are able to more easily slide past each other, which gives your slime that slimy consistency. Uh, so glue is a common type of polymer, and it's one of the main ingredients of our slime that we're gonna make today. So before we get started with the actual experiment itself, let's talk about the ingredients that you're gonna need. So the first thing that you're going to need is some PVA glue or white school glue. Um, you're going to need a saline solution. I'm using a contact lens solution, but you need to make sure that the ingredients of your solution uh, include boric acid or sodium borate. Um, this will make sure that your slime actually comes together. You have the option to add some water. This changes the viscosity of your slime. Totally up to you. For this slime here, I did not, and you can see it's quite thick. Uh, you will also need some baking soda, just a small amount, and some food coloring, confetti, glitter, or other fun mix-ins. I used some blue food coloring for this one, but something to be aware of is that you will get some of the color transferring to your hands, to your skin. And if you have sensitive skin, you should definitely wear gloves when you're playing with slime because some people can have averse reactions to the ingredients directly on their skin, although it's not a super common response. Okay, let's get into the experiment. We're back and we're ready to try to make some slime. So the first thing you're going to need is your white school glue. I put mine in a bowl here and it's about six ounces of glue. And you're going to also need half a teaspoon of baking soda, which is in this little cup here. So I'm just gonna add it into my glue and mix it around. So once that's mixed in, you can start to add some of your food coloring or glitter or whatever you'd like to add to your glue. I thought maybe today I could try some yellow food coloring. I'm gonna do a few drops and then some silver glitter. So we'll get that in there and we'll mix it all up. Okay, so give that a really thorough stirring. Okay, and then once it's all mixed in, we can move on to the next step, which is adding our saline solution or our contact lens solution. So you're gonna need about one and a half tablespoons of solution, which is about what I have here. I'm gonna start with a little bit less um, and see how it's going. If I need to add more, I can add more later. If you add too much, it's always a bit harder to go backwards. Okay. So I'll start with that and really get it mixing. Okay, I'm back. It's been a couple minutes of mixing. Um, I would say maybe about a full minute, maybe two, depending on how things are going for you. Um, my slime was looking a bit thick, so I did add uh, a couple drops of water, and I think that it will need to be played with to come together even more. Um, I found with my last batch, the more I played with it, the more it really became proper slime. But I thought I would show you how my slime is working. So this is a more liquidy slime. My last one was quite solid, so I thought I would try for a little bit more liquidy this time. Um, you can affect the viscosity of your slime with the amount of the ingredients that you use. So if you like a stretchier slime, you can include a bit more water. And if you're feeling that your slime is a bit sticky, you can add a few more drops of your saline solution. 
So I'm going to show you my slime here in a second. We'll try to get a better angle for that so you can really see what's going on. Okay, so with a few minutes of mixing, here is our slime. It's so ooey gooey. This one's really oozy. And you can really see how it behaves like a non-Newtonian fluid. And when I hold it in my hand and I hit it, it looks like a solid, but it really pours when there is not as much stress on it. So as with all science experiments, definitely get a grown-up to help you if you would like to try this one. But it's super fun and it's pretty easy, although a little bit messy. Uh, I hope you guys like that DIY slime recipe. We will see you next time. Goodbye.